Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a One Piece discussion video on Whitebeard. And in this video, we will be covering whether or not Whitebeard was really the strongest man in the world during the War of the Best. Now, Whitebeard is a fucking boss, alright? He's very powerful and he's awesome. However, I must say, during Marine Ford, he was not the strongest man in the world, in my opinion. Now, I am positive he was at one point the strongest man in the world. Most likely, right after Roger died, he was undoubtedly the best there was. The strongest man alive. But at this point, he's 70... He's 72 years old, and he's, a, and he's dying, he's sick. Guys, he was not the strongest at the time. And here is why. Now, I bet you're wondering, but Sengoku said he was the strongest man in the world. Now, his title appeared to be Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. That appeared to be a title he had. And as we know, once you get a title, it's pretty hard to bail on it. I mean, look at Zoro. He called Pirate Hunter, even though he's a pirate. I mean, so, and he's been a pirate for years now, and they have plenty of chances to change his title. They don't. He's still Rowan Zoro, the Pirate Hunter. Just like Whitebeard was still Whitebeard, the world's strongest man. Now, during Marine Ford, him and Akainu had a pretty good fight. Akainu was able to get some hits in on Whitebeard, but when Shanks showed up in the war, Shanks didn't seem to really have any trouble blocking Akainu's attack, while Whitebeard got half his face blown off. Shanks easily and single-handedly stopped Akainu's attack. But, but at the, that same attack, blew off half of Whitebeard's face. So while characters like Shank and the other Yonko are mostly all still in their prime, Whitebeard is there, 72 years old, sick and dying. So overall, when he entered the war, he wasn't even at 100%. But when Shank or any better Yonko enter, the, enter battle, they're at 100%. So I would really say that alone is enough to support him not being the strongest man alive during the war of the best. Also, just a quick point, Whitebeard kind of died, so yeah, I think that also kind of defends him not being the strongest in the world during the war. Also, just quickly wanted to point out Sengoku's thing about Whitebeard being able to destroy the world. I don't think he meant literally destroy it, or at least anymore. I think he meant in his prime, Whitebeard could have destroyed most of the world with a devil fruit. But I just don't think that Goku knew how strong Whitebeard was at the moment. Nobody probably really knew, right? A lot of people were more afraid of the name Whitebeard than they were afraid of Whitebeard himself. Now, I just want to make something clear. I am by no means saying he was the weakest person at the war. I'm just saying... In general, because if you go watch my Admiral vs. Yonko video, I do say I would put the Admiral at like an 8, and then even Yonko to like a 12, or something along those lines. I think the power gap is decently big. So yes, I do believe Whitebeard was the strongest at the war. Hands down, he was the strongest one there, but I'm talking about in the world. This means we're including people like Kaido, Big Mom, Shank, Jack. He's probably stronger than Jack, but you see my point. I just don't see Whitebeard being the absolute strongest in the world at the time. So, yeah, guys, that has been my video for today. But please, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think Whitebeard was literally the strongest man in the world during the war the best? But above all else, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. It's the One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.